It started when a snorkeler came across this 18-foot creature that's likely an example of what ancient mariners called sea serpents. They seem kind of sea monster-ish, and so it catches a lot of attention. And it's exciting for the scientists, too. Normally found only in the deep ocean, this oarfish was in just 15 feet of water off Catalina Island. Two days later, this bizarre-looking mammal washed ashore across the channel on Venice Beach. It's believed to be a rare saber-toothed stenager's beaked whale. It's usually found in much colder waters and almost unheard of in Southern California. They're never seen around here. And to have something this unique wash up, which is a once in a lifetime so far experience for me, was a real treat. Manhattan Beach surfers are used to seeing great white sharks, but not this many. Well, I've been seeing uh, an abnormally high um, quantity of great white sharks out here lately. So I figured I'd take a stand up paddleboard out, put my GoPro camera on my head, and see if I could get some footage. Did he ever? Holy. Shit. He's checking me out. Woo! Oh my God, right under the board. Oh my God, look at that, I'm shaking like a leaf. So what's going on here? I'd say something along the lines of a global climate change. The, the temperature of ocean currents are definitely changing up a bit. I don't know, it sounds scary though, especially with the great, wa great whites. I have four little kids out here and I tell them not to go in the water. Scarier than any shark sighting for Southern Californians is a theory about the oarfish. There's a Japanese legend that oarfish beach themselves to warn of an impending earthquake. And in fact, dozens of them did just that in Japan about a year before the devastating